patients who have had surgery for gallbladder uh, we do advise them to have dietary modifications because bile is being concentrated in the gallbladder and bleached from time to time in a concentrated manner when we remove the gallbladder that phenomenon does not happen that is the bile does not get concentrated bile gets con constantly released so when we eat food that concentrated large amount of bile is not available for food to be digested this is more for fat in the food so fat substances are easily digested because of a mixing with the bile so because the concentration and that uh, timely release is not there we ask the patients to avoid taking high fat diet we ask them to have small frequent meals at least in the initial part of their recovery after surgery because that's when body gets adjusted and it takes time for body to adjust with the absence of gallbladder and the food we eat so we ask them to take high calorie diet that is important for uh, recovery from surgery and high protein diet but low fat so that uh, they are able to digest many times if they don't observe this they start getting diarrhea they start getting loose motions because they are not able to digest the fat in there in those cases in mild symptomatic cases we try to do dietary modifications like what said before and try to get over this most of them they do subside with the passage of time but if uh, they are overtly symptomatic then we start giving them medicines for helping them control the diarrhea and for also digestion of fat for patients who have advanced disease or patients who are going on chemotherapy chemotherapy can cause loss of vomiting and uh, loss of appetite all those issues so we ask them to consult with the medical oncologist and we ask them to take home cooked food to avoid uh, any infection rates during chemotherapy and then again uh, there also we try to ask them to avoid high fat containing diet uh, high calorie diet with the balanced uh, nutrition will be helpful maintain their nutrition during chemotherapy and make them fit for surgery for patients who have had uh, metastatic disease that those are on palliative therapy uh, if they are going to be fed either by a nasogastric tube or a feeding duodenostomy we can give them only liquid diet we can't give them solid diet through the tube so in that time we ask them to give small frequent meals because if you are going to give uh, 200 or 300 ml at the same time like what we normally eat the bowel will get distended and they will have lot of side effects so we ask them to give almost 100 ml per hour continuous feed we use ask them to use a feeding bag uh, where they can pour it and they can control the rate of flow so that constantly growing and patient does not have any discomfort if given at a faster rate or if given at a very concentrated uh, kind they can again cause diarrhea so we ask them to there are a lot of homemade preparations and there are also a lot of ready made preparations available in the market uh, they can come and uh, go to the local hospital nutritionist where they can be advised to prepare a home based uh, feeding enteral feeding uh, solutions or if they are not able to do it there are a lot of uh, ready made formulas pre digested formulas available that can be done but all should be given in a slow constant phase so that they don't have uh, those issues